Welcome to Global Ocean TV, brought to you by Terramar Project. I'm today's host, Christian Svensson. Here's today's stories. A glimpse of the climate change from America's northernmost city. In Barrow, Alaska, close to the top of the world as you can get in America, the signs of climate change are serious indeed. The Arctic Ocean is melting faster than at any time on record. This February, the sea ice that stretches from North America to Russia reached its lowest known winter extent and began melting 15 days earlier than usual. That continue a three-decade trend that has seen the ocean ice lose about 65% of its mass and about half of its reach during the summer. In 20 or 30 more years, the Arctic Ocean could be nearly devoid of ice in the summer, climate scientists believe. Cuba Crown Jewel of Coral Reefs A marine biologist and director of Cuba Center for Coastal Ecosystem Research, Dr. Pina has spent most of his career studying the abundances of fish and other wildlife in the archipelago 50 miles from up the country's south coast. A region so fecund it has been called the Galapagos of the Caribbean. He has deep love for its biology riches, the lush mangrove forest, the shark and the grouper, the school's brightly colored snapper, grunt and angel fish, and the vibrant coral reefs, largely untouched by bleaching or other assaults. A bright spot in the often depressingly lightened sea of worldwide oceanic decline. Dramatic change to the United States coastline expected with 2 degrees Celsius climate change. At a UNESCO climate conference last week, scientists declared once again that climate change is already happening. The evidence is our wacky weather. Even Paris, where the conference was held, was boiling in the historical heat wave. But the biggest red flag is the rise and peak in global mean temperatures which means rising sea levels will almost certainly be a reality too. South Carolina's soda aims to stop offshore drilling in the Atlantic. Jobs and prosperity are the bait and the promise of a new frontier. Oil and gas drilling in the Atlantic Ocean, off the shores of Virginia, North Carolina, so South Carolina and Georgia. States with a historically swelled base and harbors, burdened marshals, prized beaches, Charmed states, you might say, particularly when it comes to the natural beauty and bounty and the absence of offshore drilling rigs, like those cluttering the Gulf of Mexico. That could change in the, if the waters of those states are cleared for drilling. The sea connects all things. In this episode of World Ocean Radio, host P Peter Neal will deconstruct the meaning of his declaration and will argue that if we truly understood its meaning of our values, actions, and behaviors, would reflect a practical, smart approach to our future. Confession of a wildlife filmmaker. In recent years, Shark Week have been criticized for essentialism and soda science, but this series is currently in the process of reinventing itself. Against the backdrop of this important discussion about how sharks should be portrayed on Shark Week, Chris Palmer's new book, Confessions of a Wildlife Filmmaker, The Challenges of Staying Honest in an Industry Where Ratings Are King, makes for a great read. This behind-the-scenes look at wildlife documentary filmmaking shows that problems with the industry runs deeper than most viewers would ever imagine. Check out these stories in the Daily Catch and tune back in tomorrow for the best river, lake, and ocean news from around the world. Thank you. Did you enjoy this broadcast from Global Ocean TV? Stay up to date with the latest ocean, river, and lake news by subscribing to our YouTube channel.